So, you were asking me about Geeky Pixie on during that birthday stream, during the uh, party stream. So let me give you the detailed story. I remember when I first met Geeky Pixie, it was in Krista Joe's Discord. I didn't think much of her. I didn't know much about Twitch streaming. I didn't think anything was off. You know, always nice to me. I remember one time, I didn't know the validity of, like, Twitch streaming at the time. And I made a Joe Biden joke when she was streaming, and I wound up getting muted. I don't think I ever talked about this with anyone. But Toxic Brood, if you ever get to see this clip, I just want you to know, I love you, it's okay. So, there was that red flag. And then... There was an incident during one of the Mario Kart streams where I was getting in like super pumped up, like super hyped, and I made an off comment about how I can't hear people on the mics because there were people's mics that were low. It's like, well, maybe if you just take a chill pill. You can't imagine how inconvenient. Oh my God, Ignatia, shut the fuck up, you dumb whore. Alright, that's another gobstone. But, I remember they were telling me, you take a chill pill, maybe you'll be able to hear anybody. And I I remember making the off comment, it's Mario Kart. There is no time to take a chill pill. And there was like a silent, like, four to five seconds before we went back to racing. So there was a red flag there. Also, if I was ever in, like... If I was in the video call and I knew that they were streaming that geeky pixie was streaming I would, I just mute myself I'm like I'm not I'm not going to try to instigate some shit because that's not who I am I'm not going to instigate shit like that you know and then one particular day you all know what the hell happened what the hell is this yeah I'm not touching that we all know what happened the day that this individual got exposed for being catfish. Now, I was not, I wasn't aware of it at the time. But then I remember everyone was talking, you remember the day, Dark? You remember when the dude got exposed, right? Like, we all thought it was an Asian chick. A young Asian girl trying to be an aspiring streamer, but it was like going up being a catfish. You remember the reaction, right, Dark? You know how everyone was just like, okay, what the fuck, you know? How the hell? Keep an eye on high places. It was just like, everyone was like, freaking out. I remember I went into the Krista Joe's Discord, and I heard Crimson in the chat, and like, hey, uh, when you get the chance, I want to get into the VC and talk about this. And I, I immediately texted Crimson, and I was just like, why why is everyone, like, reacting like this? What the hell happened that I don't know about? He's like, you didn't hear about uh, Geeky Pixie? No. He was a catfish and a potential pedophile. I I and I remember you. hearing that, and my just, my heart sank. Because it's like, this person that I thought I was giving all the respect to was in reality just a piece of shit who was lying about being something that they weren't yellow flash is one of those people that hangs out on kiwi farms and i think this geeky pixie dude had gone into um he had gone into different communities to try to pull that shit and had gotten exposed and i think they found his information and then that got leaked out there, and then Yellow Flash caught on to it, and shared it around as a means of getting everyone's attention. Eventually, Ryan Kennel came up to him and was like, what's going on, dude? What do you mean there's a catfish in our community? And then it was revealed, and then everybody started fucking going after the guy. But yeah, that, that that day fucked me. That was a really bad day. It fucked me up because I remember I was... I remember I got into a big-ass fight with my mom because she was, like, overreacting to some some bullshit that uh, Dad had said. 
about like social security and all that. So I had all that weighing on me and I just broke down. It was just a fucking nightmare. And then, and then, Thomas Gilkey's video. That was some revealing shit. For those of you that don't know, Thomas Gilkey, he is a member. He's like one of those reoccurring members of the community. You'll see him from time to time on like the full Aussie or on one of Mara's streams. He came out with a video talking about the whole situation. And he brought up an incident that I had no idea about when he was this geeky pixie individual was getting into a fight with Mara Jade over the Snyderverse. I remember the Snyderverse was like a big thing in the community. I wasn't personally, I didn't really give a shit because I like DC's animated stuff more than I do their, their extended universe. So I didn't give a fuck. But Mara was not a fan of the Snyderverse. But I just want to say, that's her opinion. Doesn't mean I think of her any different as a human being. You know, it's her opinion. If she doesn't like it, then she doesn't like it. But then I found out Geeky Pixie was actually going, like, personal. Getting, like, legitimately personal with Mara Jade over the Snyderverse bullshit. And that pissed me off because at that point, my friendship... Of course, they are yours after all. Oh, my beautiful. friendship with Mara was trying, it was basically expanding. And there's another thing too, his name was, Geeky Pixie also came up because he had called out Yellow Flash for, he called out Yellow Flash for exposing him, basically. I just, that whole situation was fucked. And if Geeky Pixie, if you ever see this, I just want you to know something, like, dude... Don't be trying to come back into the community like that. Don't be trying to make attacks against anybody. You don't have the right to. You owe it to Yellow Flash. You owe it to Geeks and Gamers. You owe it to Krista Joe. You owe it to Mara. You owe it to me. You owe it to Thomas Gilkey for what you did. Bury it. Ah, there you know you what the fuck you did? Bury it. And get the fuck on out of here. I've thought about... Well, you know what? Honestly, Dark, I've thought about doing that. But this stream is more... Don't you think this stream is more than enough? You know? I could easily turn around and just edit this stream out. And put it onto my YouTube. That's more than enough to get my word out. Hell, this—if you're watching this, you're probably watching this on my YouTube channel right about now. If it ever makes it to my channel. Fig, I have work for you. Come. 